The Woodford Reserve Bass Proof for 2024 is here, clocking in at a hearty 121.2 proof. This is a bottle that's always a hit and miss for me each and every year. Is 2024 a hit or is it another miss? Stay tuned, it's the Mass and Drum. What's up folks, I'm Jason C and welcome back to the Master and Drum. Like, subscribe and help me hit 100,000 subs here in 2024. Thank you so much for the support. So Woodford Reserve says that this bottle each year is a celebration of Woodford Reserve's proprietary process of blending barrels into a batch and then bottling the whiskey at its actual proof straight from the barrel. Now batch proof is crafted using the same grain bill and process as Woodford Reserve Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Master distiller Elizabeth McCall says that barrels drawn from the upper floors of our heat cycled warehouses routinely possess higher proof presentations due to the more aggressive angel share process found there. This batch had more of these barrels in its composition and therefore a higher batch proof presentation. Generally barrels in those higher floors of the rickhouse will have a higher alcohol content. Generally it gets really, really hot up there. So with all that heat, the water inside that barrel is more likely to evaporate which will bring up the alcohol exponentially. Now the 2024 edition is bottled at 121.2 proof. It was batched from 100 plus barrels in various warehouse locations and various floors within those warehouses. As always, it's non-H stated with an SRP of $149.99. So you're looking at about 150, 160 bucks for tax. So I brought out one of my special tasting glasses here just because like I said, each and every year Woodford Reserve tends to be a hit and miss for me. It's that, that heat cycled warehouse note, which comes off like aspartame to me, a little bit of a, of a, of an artificial sugar type flavor that I get on the back end sometimes. And I usually get that with a lot of the Woodford Reserve uh, batch proofs in particular. You know, sometimes I get it more often than not. 2022's release, which I think was about 118 proof. I did not get it that much and I really like that batch. So we'll compare it to that one here in a bit, but let's try the 2024 edition first. Here we go. First thing that jumps out of the glass is a very heavy toasted oak type of note. Um, so this gets into like that gingerbread note, maybe a little bit of a marshmallow, uh, but I also get uh, some nuttiness there. So a little bit of kind of a pecan pie type thing going on. One thing I always seem to get from Woodford Reserve batch proofs too, is I get this little bit of a barrel char note. So it, it's kind of a smokiness to it. And I, I feel like I'm getting it a little bit here too. There is definitely a hint of a bright fruit there. Um, maybe kind of like a strawberry bubble gum type thing, but it, it's it's kind of what you would expect from a nice uh, Woodford Reserve batch proof. I'm not really getting any like that artificial sweetener type note yet, but let's try it on the palate. Here we go. Yeah, this brings me a lot of toasted oak vibes. I, I feel like I am getting a little bit of a youthful characteristic. Again, when you talk about Brown Foreman, who owns uh, Old Forester and also Woodford Reserve. Uh, Woodford Reserve, you know, they share a lot of that whiskey, that same mash bill, and they both use those heat cycled warehouses for the most part. The thing is, is that most Old Forester uh, products are around four to five years old, but that heat cycling kind of pushes the envelope to make it seem a little bit older than it is. And I think Woodford does the same thing. Now, because Woodford mixes in some pot still, I think you get a little bit of an extra kind of a graininess to it as well. But I gotta say, for me, second sip, it's coming off really sweet. I'm not really getting that fake like aspartame note at all. This is actually coming through really nice. If you told me this was a toasted bourbon, I would probably believe you. Like it's really coming off like that. And I do have to credit my buddy uh, Jeff over at Hello Again Whiskey Friends. And um, you know, I was kind of telling him what I was tasting. We were talking through this, and he had. He had said, you know, could you describe it as maybe like if, if Woodford Reserve Double Double Oaked was cast strength, maybe this would, maybe this is what it would be like. And I kind of tend to agree. Maybe it does come off like that, like what it maybe could be, but I don't know. It's too early to tell. Take another sip here. Yeah, I think the more you sip this, um, again, being cast strength, probably being a younger whiskey, I think you know my issue with Woodford Batch Proof each and every year is you're paying about 160 bucks for it. You don't get an age statement on it. It's a high proof. 
and you're basically just paying for the fact that Woodford really never puts out high proof stuff. So they kind of exponentially raise the price for this bottle so you can taste their stuff at cast strength. And while I get that marketing aspect of it, there's just so many good bourbons that cast rank these days that are less money that could probably go head to head with this. Yeah, it's got a little bit of like a tanginess to it. Um, I would say that's kind of like a tangy, like, like fruit note to it. Maybe like a raspberry strawberry thing right there in the mid palate. But it's all brown sugar, toasted oak, again, a little bit maybe like that marshmallow and um, and that brown sugar all mixed together. It's not out of the ordinary for Woodford Reserve. It's, I don't think it's anything super special. However, the fact that it's missing that aspartame taste that I usually get from Woodford Reserve batch proofs, I think is a win. So let's compare it real quick to the 2022 edition. All right, so the 2022 edition was 118.4 proof. So I was right that it was around 118 proof. And I actually really like this batch. Um, wasn't a huge fan of last year's. I was getting that aspartame note in 2023, but let's see what we get, how they compare. Yeah, when you when you do this comparison, it's really interesting because the 118 actually comes off a little darker and maybe even a little bit older, where the more I go back to this one uh, being the 2024, coming off of the 2022, the 2024 easily has a brighter type of, uh, brighter type of profile to it. So, Whereas I wasn't getting a lot of that fruit forward comparison in the beginning, I'm getting it now coming off the 118. That's why I think comparisons help so much. Let's go to the 2022 edition. Yeah, 2022 edition is just darker, richer, a little bit more chocolate there. Um, maybe those barrels could have been older in this, in this version. 2022 was probably one of the, I think that was the last time I recommended the Woodford Reserve batch proof. Is the 2024 better? I don't think so. It's good. I like again. I like that I'm not getting that that note on the finish of uh, this year's Woodford's Batch Proof. But again, there's just nothing that's like standing out about it that makes me you know want to go run out and get a backup of this. And you know the the one thing that it's also missing a little bit when you compare is the texture. I think the 2024 comes off a little bit thinner than the uh, 2022. So. Interesting comparison. Uh, there are some attributes of the Woodford Reserve batch proof that I like and attributes that I don't like. Let's do a quick final breakdown. All right, final breakdown, the Woodford Reserve batch proof for 2024, 121.2 proof. Uh, SRP, you're looking at 149.99. Resale market value, you usually see these up and around 180 to 200. We'll say 200 for max. Availability on these is usually limited. Uh, these do hit a lot of markets because it's Brown Foreman. Brown Foreman does have a lot of distribution. However, these are still limited and tend to go pretty fast. Uh, value for this one I'm still gonna say is low, you know, until Whiff Reserve gives me an age statement on these or, you know, shows me something different. Um, I'm still gonna say the value here is low just because of how many great cast strength bourbons are on the market today. Most I pay for this particular bottle is retail. Do not overpay for this particular bottle. I mean, obviously you have a collectability standpoint. If you're a Woodford Reserve enthusiast and you wanna get every single one and complete that vertical or keep the vertical going, then obviously you're gonna to wanna to pick this up. But if you're buying this to drink it and enjoy it, I would not pay over retail for it. As far as alternatives for this one, I mean, there are a lot. I mean, for those, for those of you that, or have uh, you know been kind of disparaging uh, Booker's from Jim Beam for so long? I mean, Booker's is now a hundred bucks. I mean, that's actually cheaper than this bottle, and it's actually older if you think about it. I mean, most of the Booker's that have been releasing are around seven years old and change. I don't think that the Woodford Batch Proof is that old, and it's actually about fifty to sixty dollars cheaper than that. You have Knob Creek single barrels that are 120 proof, about nine years old now. You have Rare Breed, you have Elijah Creek Barrel Proof, Larceny Barrel Proof, I know that's a weeder and it's different, but there are just so many high proof, um, high proof available options that are out there to compete with this. So the alternatives are really endless. All right, and my recommendation, is this a skip? Is it a try before you buy or is it a buy or is it a buy and back it up? For me, this one, I think it's good enough to give it a try before you buy. I'm not gonna say skip this one. I think last year I said skip. The fact that it's missing that artificial like sugar note that I, that I would get on previous uh, versions, I think is a big plus. 
I like how fruit forward it is. I do like the brown sugar. I like how sweet it is. I do like the, uh, the pepperiness of it. But again, there's nothing about it that makes me say, oh my God, go and buy this you know, immediately. As we talked about with the alternatives, I just think there are too many good options that are a lot cheaper to warrant paying the price for this one. But you know, that's why I say try before you buy if you can. I think it's solid. I don't think it's, it's anything that you have to go run out and buy, especially for about 160 bucks. All right, guys, I well, hope you enjoyed this review for the new Woodford Bass Group 2024. Let me know down in the comments what you think about it. If you did like the video, hit that subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. And if you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram. Let me know if you're a, you know, if you're an enthusiast of these, if, if you're, are, are you buying these no matter what each and every year? Always love hearing from you guys. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. Cheers. I'll see you next time right here on the Mass and Drum. Cheers.